In the third exercise, simply, we are having the comparison of the long action and the short action in the past. So short action in the past is called past simple, remember, verb to or ed form of the verb, or past continuous was verb plus verb ing. Remember this. So <clears throat> you need to check the meaning of the sentences when you decide whether the sentence is past continuous, is in past continuous, or whether it is in past simple. So I was playing tennis yesterday with Anna when a dog ran onto the court. So this is a typical formula that you have written in your notebook. Remember, when, after when, we go on with past simple. But right after this, there should be a comma, and after which we continue with past continuous. But there's no comma right after this sentence. So what should I understand? What I understand is that this sentence, right after comma, this sentence was moved to the beginning. And we find it here. And it was supposed to be in past continuous. And see, it is in past continuous. Remember, generally talking, this is the formula that you need to stick to, that you need to follow. OK. <clears throat> and here, this it refers to the dog. OK, refers to the dog. And we are trying to figure out what this dog do. And here, it tells me the answer. It chased the ball, ran, and it chased the ball. Then what happened? Then picked it up in his mouth. So it re didn't require a long time, actually, for the dog to do these actions. Just chased it and picked it up in his mouth. Done. Finished actions. Remember, for the finished actions, we use past simple. Finished actions are referred by past simple. OK. So guys, let's remember. Let's continue with the next uh, answer. Teacher, run. So uh, can you just uh, do your sentence? Can you complete the gap as you wish? Okay. As Anna ran after it. Okay, then. Uh, the, say the, the dog. The dog, yes, the dog. Then what happened, the dog? The dog dropped. Mm -hmm. Okay. The ball. That's it. Okay. The second gap, uh, how you did it, is correct. But check out uh, with the first gap. Do you think it's ran? Do you think it's a short action? Or here, uh, we need to use it in a longer action, with a longer action. What do you think, Las? Because remember, running. In the, remember in the formula that you have written in your notebook, it was as plus past continuous, comma, past simple. So there was such a combination of the past tenses as well. Do you think this combination fits to this sentence? What do you think? OK, uh, last, you just think for a while, for a bit, OK? So let's continue with somebody else. Let him be Hasty. Hasty, what would you say for this gap as Anna? The, the dropping or the running? No, part. as Anna, let's start from as Anna. As Anna was running after it, the dog dropped the ball. Okay, you think then, you think that then uh, the first gap should be completed in with past continuous because here seemingly, what I understand from the meaning is that there is a long action because Anna should continue to run for a while after the dog. That's why I yes. use past continuous. Would you say yes to this explanation? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Hasty. And uh, let's choose from among you. Ponyar, how about the dog dropped the ball and then what happened? The dog dropped the ball and then jumped on her. Okay, you also think that for these two actions, drop the ball and jump on her, <clears throat> required yes. that there was, there was a need for us to use past simple. It was because a short action, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. <clears throat> uh, 
I just want to draw, uh, draw your attention to this uh, P. We double uh, the P in British English, remember, according to the grammatical rules, okay? Why? Because it's a short, it's a short verb, okay? And that's why we double the <coughs> uh, last consonants, which is P. We doubled it and then add ED. Then let's continue with the next sentence. We would like to do then what should we use for this gap then as i went to check she was i think went so do you think this didn't require a long time to do <clears throat> you think that it required only a short time so i you used I, as i went which is in past simple do you think so Yes. Okay, anybody who agrees with Bender, can you raise your hand in Zoom? Not physically, but raise your hand in Zoom, please. Those who agree with Bender. Okay, so seemingly there is no one agreeing with you because Bender and the others in the class, because here it requires a long action actually. Because it requires a long action and I need to use past continuous. I need to form it in past continuous for this gap. As I was going to check whether she was okay or not, then something happened. What is this happening? What is this that happened? that I saw she was smiling and it was her cousin's dog. So guys, so guys, this rule, as I was going to check whether she was okay or not, is telling me that for this first gap, there's a long action right after comma, there's a short action, which as, as we have written in our notebooks, okay? So this is approving the formula as well.